All right, everyone, we're back with everyone's favorite segment. Well, this is everyone's second favorite segment. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's the top. Yeah. This will, Whatever. This one will be it. It'll it's take the top segment. I'll really take you back. All right, we did uh, top world or postseason performances uh, by an individual. Right. Um, just to get him out of the way, an honorable mention would have to be Ryan Braun because he just went bananas this postseason. Yeah, he did. I mean, he couldn't get the Brewers did not make it to the World Series, but he held his own more than enough. And also Nelson Cruz, who's still in the World Series, he's hit six home runs in the uh, ALCS, and he look he's basically just hitting everything out. Yeah. So don't pitch to him. Don't pitch to him. All right, but. My number one, or I'm sorry, well, start going from, opposite. Start, we start, from, start, start from the top. From the bottom. From the bottom. Okay. Oh, yeah. My number five is Carlos Beltran in 2004 as a member of the Houston Astros, which landed to his lucrative Mets deal. Uh, this was in 2004, had a 435 batting average. Eight home runs and 14 RBI uh, in the NLCS against the St. Louis Cardinals. Word. I'm going further back. I'm going to 1996, where our boy, Fred McGriff. Crime dog. He had 16 hits, 16 RBIs. That's pretty impressive. Um, this is back when he was with the Braves, uh, and um, he hit 281 and hit five home runs, and he lost the World Series to the Yankees that year. Stupid Jim Leyritz. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Brings back bad memories. Yeah. I know. Uh, B- Barry Bonds in 2002 in the World Series against the Angels had eight home runs, 16 RBI, and a 356 batting average. Not too shabby. All right, um, I'm gonna go to 95. Uh oh. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, he hit 364 and six home runs, nine RBIs, but he slugged 818. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Back uh, when Edgar was on the team. Yeah, and that's this was uh, back in the day when they lost ALCS to the Cleveland Indians. Man, Mariners used to be such a good team. I know. God, if A Rod would have stuck around, and or Randy Johnson, and Griffey didn't break his face on the wall and legs all the time, God, that could have been a dynasty. I'm just saying. Uh, Bernie Williams in 1996 had a 395 batting average, six home runs, and 15 RBI, and the very World Series we talked about earlier against the Atlanta Braves, and it hurts to talk about it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put that on there. Um, 93, Lenny Dykstra. He's Who's a crazy person, by the way. I think crazy person <laughs> has left. Um, I don't know what he is, but it's beyond crazy. <laughs> That's all I had. But, yeah, he's a crazy person. Um, back in 93, when they lost the World Series to Toronto, he hit 313, six home runs, 10 RBIs, and four stolen bases. So. Well, Lenny used to be able to motor. Oh, yeah. He was, a, he was only a little guy, but, you know, steroids will help you smash the ball. Right. Uh, Chase Utley in the 2009 World Series against the Yankees had a 296 batting average, six home run, and 10 RBI. Five of those home runs and eight of those RBI were in the World Series. I remember that. He went banana sandwich. He, ten- but he tends to do that. Yeah. Um, I'm making this number two, so everybody doesn't think it's a homer pick. But uh, in 08, we all remember B.J. Upton. He went nuts. Seven home runs. His batting average was 288, but he did have six stolen bases and 16 RBIs. And we all know what happened at the end of that year. I'm not even going to say it. Cause it all right. Well, hurts. I'm taking this more old school than you have yet. 1988, Oral Hershiser. In the NLCS against the Mets, pitched in four games, uh, saved one, started games one, three, and seven. So he pitched in four of the seven games. Jeez. I think he lost games one and three, 
got the save in four and then the one in game seven to win the World Series. But in those four games, he had 24.2 innings pitched and had a 1.09 ERA. Good God. Bulldog, sir. All right. Don't F with the Bulldog. Well, I'm going to take it kind of old school. In 89. Uh-huh, I beat you. I know. Ricky Henderson. He batted 441. Ooh. He had three home runs, eight RBIs. But his slugging percentage was 941, probably due to the fact that he ran 80 miles an hour. Well, that, and he played in a huge ballpark. Yeah. And he had 11 stolen bases. Ooh. <laughs> in a playoff. Ooh. And this is when they uh, beat San Francisco for the World Series. Wow. When, back when he was on the O's, son. Who? Nine forty-one. Eleven stolen bases. Yeah. Well, uh, top five for next week. We decided is top five basically cameos and commercials for athletes, but they can't be ESPN commercials because we've already done that. And those are just way funnier than any. Yeah, those are gonna beat anything in it. So it just ended up being an ESPN thing. Yeah, it will be fair. So. I have a feeling we'll see Brian Wilson on there. Double XL Super, son. What? Go get you one. They're good. Hear that Taco Bell? Send us some money. All right.